What's up guys, Alex here from That Shitty Boo Show, and today I'll be recommending the movie, The Night Flyer. Now, The Night Flyer was released in 1997 and stars one of my favorite actors, Miguel Ferrer, who sadly passed away in 2017. Ferrer was probably best known as Bob Morton from Robocop. Now, in The Night Flyer, Ferrer plays Richard Dees, a tabloid reporter who's kind of an asshole. Said, Move it along, buddy. Get your hands off me, pal. I'm the fucking press. What the fuck are you doing here? Taking back my story. Why don't you go on home before you really make me mad? I don't need some bitch cut reporter screwing up my leads. She wanted to look young. Salita, could you look this way, please? Thanks, son. Richard Dees is also a pilot that owns his own airplane and is on the bloody trail of a vampire that flies across country in an all-black Cessna airplane. The vampire then preys on airfield workers and nearby locals. This movie seems to be overlooked by a lot of horror fans, but The Night Flyer has always been a favorite of mine. It had great effects with genuinely creepy and suspenseful moments. What I had to do to get this, Richard. I had to pull it out of me. Richard, could you look this way? And I must add, the co-star in this movie was as cute as can be. Goddamn, she looked good in those black jeans. I can watch her pack luggage all day. Stephen King's The Night Flyer is an absolutely terrific horror film, and I highly recommend it. Some other honorable mentions featuring Miguel Ferrer would be Stephen King's The Stand TV miniseries and Deep Star Six. Now, I saw Deep Star Six in the theater back in 1989. I was about six years old. My parents took me, and I must say, that movie fucked me up. The scene where the sea monster comes up and bites the guy in half who's in that deep sea diving suit, and that, like, fucked up my head. That was... The most terrible thing that I had ever seen up to that point. I also like that scene where Miguel Ferrer accidentally stabs that guy with a stick and it injects him with air and the guy's chest explodes for some reason because it's, I don't know, science? <laughs> and also Ferrer's death scene where he gets into the escape capsule and I mean I don't, I don't get it. I mean he goes up too quickly and he dies from decompression. <laughs> All his blood comes out of his face and shit. It's science. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for today's video, guys. Are you a fan of Miguel Ferrer? What's your favorite movie? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Also, is there any other movies I should talk about or recommend? Let me know. Thanks, guys.